Duval County voters are not the only ones to decide whether to approve a half-cent sales tax to fund aging and dilapidated schools. Clay County residents will vote on one, too, next week. The district says that it needs more than $300 million just to make repairs to the county's public schools. Bryce Ellis is Clay County's Assistant Superintendent of Operations, joining us over the phone this morning with more information about this sales tax, since we know so many of you have questions. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hi, thank you for having me. So we have reported in the past about problems with air conditioners and mold conditions. Um, we also uh, saw uh, one of the principals, in fact, of the elementary school show us a huge crack in one of the walls. So we understand that aging schools need repairs. Could you also explain, though, that we know that Clay County is experiencing tremendous growth? Will this money also be used to build new schools? Yes, we have um, right now we have five to seven new schools in our plan in the next five to ten years and we can also use this money to help pay for those schools now we do have impact fees that can help pay for schools but that's for new growth only and so this sales tax is really going to help us not only with the new growth but also with the deferred maintenance with our existing facilities and, and, and i think that that's important too because we, we've had many viewers reach out to us and say why can't you use impact fees you know to pay for this and another common question is why not use lottery money can you use lottery money to help with this? No. So lottery money was originally started and it's for educational programs only. It's used for a lot of um, scholarships and bright futures and it cannot is not allowed to be used on maintenance and facilities. So we're seeing as you talk some of the um, the challenges associated with disrepair at some of the schools in Clay County. I also, in terms of the language of this sales tax, would you explain to our viewers what this money is allowed to be used for and what it cannot be used for? Yes, so it's facility restricted, and that's by Florida statute. The state allows us to, do, to pass a tax for facility restricted sales tax. It can't be used for programs. It can only be infrastructure and um, facilities. And again, then to confirm, can it be used for administrative salaries? Because that is a common question. No, it cannot. And there's no loopholes. There's nothing. It's, this is protected by the referendum. This money cannot be repurposed for anything else. Could you describe what kind of oversight would be in place if this is passed to assure the taxpayers that it will be used the way it's supposed to? Right. So there would be an oversight committee that would be um, part of community members, they would be involved with the committee and they would be able to validate all the projects that we spend the money on. So the community is going to be involved in it. It's a community project and they will have a say and a voice. If this is not passed, what, what will the district do with the repairs and the need for new schools? Yeah, so Clay County will just continue to fall behind and um, our children deserve the same opportunities as all the other surrounding counties. In, in Florida. So, it, you know, the time is now. And for the average family, what would this cost them if this tax is approved? So we're looking at about five to six dollars in taxes a month for a family of four. So 60 to 70 dollars a year. And if approved, how long will it last? It's on the ballot for 30 years. All right, Bryce Ellis, the Assistant Superintendent of Operations for Clay County Schools, hoping, hopefully answering some questions that you may have of our Clay County viewers about the half-cent sales tax that's on the ballot. Thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. The 8 o'clock hour starts right now.